these are the Medicine Bow Peaks. And my goal for the next two days is to traverse from the left, which is the north, all the way to the right, to the south. Almost five. Time to go. First goal of the day is to climb 2,000 feet up to that ridge. And then from there, we head south. Should get to cross somewhere around a dozen and a half, 12,000 foot peaks. I'm really stoked. This morning is July 1st, and there's still frost on the plants. Time for a layer break. Only gone about a half mile, but I'm warm now. Probably take both jackets off. Because in 90 seconds, I'll be warm enough to take this off anyways. Much better. Walking through some beautiful aspen groves now. Columbines. That's our Colorado State flower. Beautiful flower. I have a long ways to go, but sometimes you gotta stop and smell the roses. I've gained enough elevation that the forest is starting to change over from this really thick lodgepole pine to subalpine fir and Engelmann spruce. Look at this, I'm pretty sure this is the scapula to an elk. That'd be the shoulder bone, it's huge. All right, it is seven o'clock. So I've been hiking, eh, not quite two hours. Uh, I've done just over two miles and I can see the ridge crest ahead. I think I'll be up on the crest in about 45 minutes. My goal is by eight o'clock, so we should be looking good. Whew. The nice thing about this route is that the hardest part of it is the very beginning, at least according to my maps, where the climb's about 2,300 feet. After that, there's lots of ups and downs, but none are quite as big as the initial climb. And when doing most of the initial climb off trail, just enjoying the forest. Just about to tree line now. Ridge is 10 minutes away. Made it to the ridge by 7.30. That's good. It's beautiful up here. Sunshine. Back behind me is the town of Walden, Colorado. That's in the middle of North Park. And in Colorado, we call these big open areas between mountains parks. And behind that, those snow-capped mountains, that's the Zirkle Wilderness. Break time. In addition to my Fritos, I have blueberries. These are good. The sun is super hot right now, but the wind is freezing cold. So sitting here with my back against this rock with my face in the sun, it's really nice. Up ahead is our first big climb of the ridge. Right now we're at 11,417 feet, and I'm thinking that'll take us almost to 12. The ground is just covered with sunflowers here. I mean, they're everywhere. I'm having some trouble making time because I keep stopping to take pictures and video of all the flowers. Man, I love wildflowers. There's Sky Pilot. Well, up we go.
What do you see the flowers up here? This is gorgeous. Check this out. That's the mummy range off in the distance. That's in Rocky Mountain National Park, southeast of here. Here's the top. Nice. Oh, what a view. Look at this little caterpillar. This guy's up at 12,000 feet. That is cool. Oh, look at that. Off in the distance, you can see Long's Peak and its strange flat top summit. Had to take a little break from the wind. It's not too hard to walk in, but it's so noisy I can't hear myself think, and it uh, dries out my contacts quite a bit. So it's nice to get on the other side of the ridge for just a moment. Really pretty over here, too. Well, let's notch another summit. There's one right there. There's the view looking back. I gained the ridge right there at the edge of tree line. I'm pooped already. Time for some lunch. It is about five till 12. The wind is whipping on this side of the ridge, but I couldn't pass this up. It's almost dead calm right here. This is a beautiful hike. If I could turn the wind down one notch, I'd be okay with that though. Boy, that feels good. about one o'clock now and I have just descended from North Raywa Peak over my shoulder and time to start the traverse to South Raywa Peak. This will be the first of um, a couple little bit harder sections of the route. Should also be extraordinarily beautiful. That's a cool ridge. That should be really fun. And then look down below That's cool. Wow. This is a cool route. I should have done this a long time ago.
bridge. And I'm just about to the top now. Well, this is 245. Must be snack time. Cinnamon roll time. I need some calories. Well, that was a nice little break, but tally ho. Ah, there's Clark Peak. Need to get pretty close to that guy today. Best get moving. Nothing quite like spending a day in the sky. All right, made it up to the top of South Raywa Peak. How about that? That is one of the best views I've ever seen anywhere. If you like mountains, this is a cool spot. Check this out. That's awesome. There's the route ahead. Well, how about that? I am literally the first person to sign the summit register this year. Cool. South Raywa Peak. Uh, elevation is 12,644 feet. wind is really drying up my contacts. Kind of itchy and scratchy now. Not too bad, but not pleasant. Man, it's pretty up here. Well, we'll see if we can get around this or not. Try not to lose my hat. Way off in the distance over that next ridge are a whole bunch of sheep, I believe. Looks like a huge herd of bighorn sheep. That's pretty cool. Hoping I can cross this ridge. If not, I'll uh, go back where I just came up and drop down to the lakes and go up on the ridge back after Island Lake. Beautiful terrain. Well, this is probably the crux of the route. To see if I can find safe passage over or around this next point. Wow, look at that. Here it goes. Depending on what's on the other side of this ridge, I may have to turn around or I may be able to proceed. I think we can navigate that. It's starting to get lower. Got about three hours of light left. Should be enough. Oh, whoa. That's cool. up I go. Either just before or just after this next 12,000 foot peak I need to get down off the ridge. Then I'm going to try and head down to Island Lake and get some water there and probably camp. Climb high, sleep low. Peak just ahead is the last peak I'm going to climb today. I don't remember how many I've done, but it's probably about six or seven. Let's make it eight.
I'm gonna camp there at Island Lake tonight, and then in the morning, I'll follow this ridge back up to the crest of the Rewa, take it to Lewis and then Clark Peaks, and then off towards Cameron Pass. So I'm gonna descend this ridge on the right to the saddle, and then go down as far as I can on the rock, and then I think I can probably glissade the rest of the way down to the valley, and then I'll just hike up over to Island Lake. I'm tuckered out. But no more uphill today, all downhill. Kick some steps down this. Tripod ice axe, when in doubt. There we go. Now, I'm gonna get as low as I can and then glissade the rest of the way. It's about 500 feet down. This should be probably the best glissade I've ever had. Try and get to the middle of here so I can go straight down the fall line safely. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be crazy. Here it goes. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <sighs> oh. 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 <sighs> that was epic. Woo! That's how you go down. A little plunge stepping, sink my heels in. Man, that was fun. If I weren't so tired, I'd hike right up and do it again. But I'm knackered. You actually see the moon rising high above Clark Peak. And there's Island Lake, my campsite for tonight. This trip is going very well. Well, off to camp we go. It's like a little piece of Shangri-La. It's all mine tonight. I've had a lot of amazing campsites over the years. This one might actually take the cake. Whew, that was a long day. Made it to my camp spot on a little hill overlooking Island Lake. It's uh, stunning here. There's the island for which Island Lake is named. And a fantastic view of Clark Peak. That'll be my goal for late tomorrow morning. Now time to filter some water, eat, and crash. Well, good morning there. It is about 5 a.m. First light, which means it is time to get out of my warm sleeping bag and start climbing. Off we go. It got windy last night and cold. So my first objective for the day is to climb up that little ridge that has that patch of trees on it. And then I'll work my way over south again, over Lewis Peak and then Clark Peaks. Then south towards Cameron Pass where Lion's gonna meet me with a fresh clean shirt, probably a Monster Energy drink, and a big kiss. All right, time to go to Cameron Pass. We got a long ways to go. Might need to film just a little bit less today. Problem is, it's so pretty, it's kind of hard to not film. That is not bad. That's how I like to start my day. Mountain views and mountain air. And time to climb that. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to miss that a little bit. That's something else. Up we go.
Well, this short little 10 foot tall chimney right in here is the crux of the route going up this ridge. Not too bad, it is maybe a fourth class move, but pretty easy and not much fall potential either. And up the ridge we go. About halfway up now. It's time to scramble up this face here. That should get me pretty close to the top. All right, so it's a little bit steep. I was anticipating second, third class. Turns out it's fourth class. That's okay, I don't mind. It's actually a really nice rock. There's a lot of loose rock, but there's also a lot of stable rock if you just take your time and pick your holds. Really quite delightful. Well, you all know I have a pretty dry sense of humor, so I'm just gonna say it. If anybody asks, looks like I had a scramble for breakfast. Well, it's about 8 o'clock. I'm about on top of this little ridge here, which means it is snack time. Having some grapes and some blueberries and some jalapeno Fritos. Yum. What a view. It's a really good view of the west branch of the Laramie River Valley here, too. Hiked that, uh, I think, about two weeks ago with some friends of ours. All right, I just finished that ridge. Let's go snag this peak, then hang a hard left, and go do Clark Peak and Lewis Peak. It is super windy up here though. Had to lose the baseball hat or it was gonna lose itself. All right, there's the summit. Puts on top. Yeah! That's good stuff. Woo! So I've done the whole ridge up to the peaks above Island Lake now. Time to head south. That's Kelly Lake down below. Man, it's windy. Approaching Lewis and Clark Peaks. Woo! For the first time since I left yesterday morning, I can actually see the finish line. Diamond Peak by Cameron Pass. Pardon the wind, it's blowing about 35, 40 miles an hour up here. There's the finish line. Alpine forget-me-nots, one of my favorite flowers. Here's the rest of the route. Beautiful ridge run. The Rewa Ridge Run. There's Long's Peak way off in the distance. 14,255 feet tall. That was my first 14er. Did that Labor Day of 1998. 22 years ago. Approaching the summit of Lewis Peak. After the late Meriwether Lewis. Begins Clark Peak, the monarch of the railways. Just under 13,000 feet tall.
getting closer. Still got a ways to go. But man, I'm glad to be on top of Clark Peak. So I started yesterday morning at Jack Dickens Trailhead. Took that all the way to the ridge. And I've just been following the ridge. Past all the lakes. Past North Raywa Peak. South Raywa Peak. Then I descended um, to Cary Lake last night and then slept by Island Lake. Then I climbed the ridge, the Northeast Ridge to point 12380. Did Lewis Peak, now I'm on Clark Peak, 12951. And I'm gonna eat some lunch, because I'm starving. And then I gotta fly the rest of the day. So I can make it all the way back down to North Diamond Peak. And it's a little sub-summit there, South Diamond Peak. And then I'll take the Avalanche Couloir to Cameron Pass and meet Lion at the Cameron Pass parking lot. And I can't wait to see her. There's where I camped last night. And then the ridge I climbed this morning. And then traverse that. Did Lewis Peak. And now it's time to set off from Clark Peak towards Cameron Pass. First I gotta melt some snow with my stove because my filter's getting clogged up. A little frustrating, but no big deal. Well, that's not exactly the fastest way to get clean, fresh water, but it works. And since my filter's clogged, it's gonna have to work. actually not too bad right here. Let me tell you what, that feels so good. It's better than thunderstorms and lightning. Just got a text from Ryan. She says she'll be at the Diamond Peaks parking lot about 6 tonight. I don't think I'll be there quite that soon. I'm probably pacing about 8.30. But, we'll see. If the wind dies, make a little bit better time. Whew. I'm getting tired. Look at that view back there. There's Lewis and Clark Peaks. North Park. Off in the distance are the Zirkle Mountains and the Zirkle Wilderness. And this is where we're headed, south down the Raywa Ridge. All that wind is why we have all these huge snowdrifts still in July. They're permanent, they'll be here all year. Oh, the wind on this ridge is absolutely brutal. My eyes are full of dust and dirt, and probably a little sunscreen too. Gorgeous day, thunderstorm free, so I'll definitely take it, but man, I will not miss this wind. I'll miss the time in the high country, but I will not miss this wind. Look at the ice breaking up in this lake down below. This big old summit cairn here has a cool USGS marker for Clark Peak with an arrow pointing towards it. The wind just twists these snowdrifts into crazy shapes. If I'm not mistaken, this is the last really big climb of the trip, which is fine with me. All right, we have another summit in the bag. Whew, I am knackered. Feel pretty good though, nothing hurts. Haven't hurt myself, haven't even really scraped a knee or anything been a really good smooth trip aside from the fact that I clogged my water filter again but I can see the rest of the route now and uh, making pretty good time let's go do it below the saddle between here and the next peak are a group of elk there's about a half dozen of them there might be July in Colorado, but there are definitely some skiable lines still to be had. Look at this. Yeah. It's about a thousand foot of goodness. Last 12,000 foot peak. That guy's about 12.2, 12.3. Almost on the home stretch. Just gonna follow this ridge down and then up and then down to Montgomery Pass. That's the low spot. And then up to North Diamond Peak 
South Diamond Peak. I'm gonna go straight down an old avalanche couloir and uh, meet Lion. Down I go. On the next hill, about a quarter mile away, is a remote automated weather station. descending towards Montgomery Pass and I have those three peaks to climb and then South Diamond Peak is hiding behind that one on the right that's North Diamond Peak and that's it I'm done all right here's Montgomery Pass that's a major milestone that means I only have about three miles left there's the first peak yeah, it's about time for a boots off break. Keep my feet dry. And get some food. Oh, wow. Not bad. All right. Two more. Let's do it. Should be done in about 90 minutes. I feel like a pizza. Actually, I feel like two pizzas. There's North Diamond Peak. Oh, look at the Noku Crags and the Lake Agnes Amphitheater behind it. What a view. And there's the last one. Let's go do South Diamond Peak and go home. Man, I love that view. On a home turf now. This is an area I know well. I've been up here, I don't know how many times. Quite a few. Almost there. 15 more minutes. And I will have completed the Great Rewa Traverse. Here's where I came from today. About two miles past the farthest peak you can see. Not bad. Somewhere down there is a little white Jeep Renegade with my fiance and my puppy dog waiting for me. Hundred feet left to go. Yeah, baby. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs>